Well, welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here, and I'm gonna show you kind of a little ritual here. And as I said, this makes rituals fun and more powerful. Now, I'm going to include here a little bit of candle magic, and of course, our super powerful oils with the um, uh, all important empowered sigils on them. We're the only ones that make these kind of oils on uh, cool black bottles. They have those sigils on them, and of course, our um, we were the first to use roll-ons for this type of uh, use. It's got a roll-on, so it means it lasts you a long time, uh, years. We also are going to be using a little bit of our um, goddess of evil. Because we're going to do right here is we're going to take care of some little scum bucket. And um, we are going to show you how that's done using this very fun tool. Now, I did a little video on this if you want to see how this works, but this is one of these spirit catchers. Oops, it's not on. You turn it on when you want to bring a spirit in, and then it works that way, and you can see the lights inside. So check out my other video on this little fun item uh, yourself. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, this is the fifth pentacle of Mars, causes all demons to obey the wishes of the possessor of this powerful seal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to fold this up so we can tuck it inside here. We're going to use that seal there. You know, we have an evocation machine as well, and you could actually put this whole unit on top of it to give it even more fun but do check out our evocation machine so what we're going to do here is you take the oil and of course i've written on here the scum buckets i'm going after but our intentions are there think about the person clockwise think about the person Okay, think about the person. You'll see how you get You don't need much. It's all you need. Just think how long that'll last that that's all you did each time. That's why our oils are so wonderful, last so long, and are potent. So, we just activated the seal. We're going to stick it in here. Could have folded that a little smaller. Put a little bit of fun dust in there. Yeah, go get them, baby. These two scum buckets. Dan and Chris. Okay, and we're going to close this. Now we've sealed the spirit in there and we're going to activate it and keep it going here. So I'm going to use one of these. Um, and you'll notice that we're using one of our altar cloths here. This holds spirit so it doesn't uh, actually bother you personally. So it's going to hold it there. It's going to send it to the target. And it's just going to be lots of fun for them. We always like to give fun to bad people. Yes? Yes, we do. So, with that, we then light the candle. And, of course, you know, it's always good to have these. Oops. It's always good to have these electric-type candles. They, uh, they save a lot of uh, excess. Can you imagine how many uh, lighters you throw away, how much fluid? Then we go ahead and light it. Well, actually, let me do that again. We want, of course, generally what you do with uh, all of the oils is you want to send the energy. So you, you go clockwise around here. You're sending energy to these people. You're thinking about what they deserve to get, uh, and you're then done. That's how you use candle, how you use oils in general. As I said, look at that cool sigil that we use on there to empower the oils and draw even more spirits to them. Of course, these are traditional recipes that go back uh, probably hundreds of years. Then uh, we've done that, and then we're ready to just let the energy keep going. Now, uh, candles uh, help send the energy consistently. There. They're an energy form. You're using fire spirits and the energy of it in general. So we've triggered that. Let me uh, turn this off. You don't want your batteries to burn out needlessly. because This is going to be going for hours. And we are done. So here's a fun way to use 
this as a spirit trap, which you've done is you just held in those energies there in the center of the um, triangle. And this is what you do in ritual magic. You have a triangle where you hold the spirits in. And here's a fast simple. Now, remember that um, the real energy comes from the sigil being anointed with the oils and using a powder. That's where the real energy comes from. The uh, process or the ritual we're doing is a way of focusing that energy on your particular target. And of course, you always write on the actual candle. That's a Sharpie. Uh, you can see I have particular um, negative energies uh, runes on there. And the person's names are on here as well. And now we're just sending the energy to them. And of course, this is a, uh, a candle that lasts for 12 hours. Um, so this is a long burn, which is what you want. You don't necessarily want to repeat things consistently. Hope you enjoyed that little fun into the world of magic. And um, this will give you an idea of how to use some fun stuff like this. But uh, this certainly is a fun unit, the little Ghostbuster trap, and something that I highly recommend.